guys welcome back to my channel um this is tina and we're just now on the kind of home stretch of our junk journal series that we have been doing so we're here doing this very final um what i would call the decorative um pages for the journal um we're just going to use this kind of book page pocket um that i have made previously and obviously pop it onto this page here um, we're going to decorate it obviously and then we're just going to do the what I would call the kind of plain you know journaling kind of pages for the journal I don't know whether we will get through them all I don't know whether we will have time for anything else um, but we may then do a couple of kind of inserts or you know um, you know pop in pull out items for journaling um, we'll kind of see how we get on really so <coughs> excuse me so first of all, obviously I've got this pocket and here I've got the back of one of the cards that we have used already. And on the back of it, it just happened to have this cute little image, which just kind of seems like a good size. I'm just taking it out of the light to cut around it. It just seems like a good size to have on this little book page pocket. So I'm just cutting around it like that. And I just thought it would be kind of quite good on there. Now, we've also got here this card here with this chandelier. So I wondered whether we could kind of use the two items kind of together. So I'm just going to kind of tear around the chandelier. And I'm going to kind of try and fussy tear, fussy tear it a little bit. I mean, not obviously right beside the chandelier, but so it's roughly in the kind of chandeliery type shape. I mean, I don't mind it actually with the kind of corner like that. I think that looks quite nice. <coughs> Excuse me. I've got a bit of a frog in my throat now. Um, so, <coughs> so I thought that looked, you know, or that would look quite cool on there. Um, I'm just kind of having a look whether we want that kind of, Actually, no, I'm going to I'm going to tear more around it because um, when I kind of then just saw how it looked, then, you know, actually thought it would look better like that. Right, that looks nice. Okay, so that's kind of the items that I think would look cool on this page, would look, you know, really pretty on this page. We've got this little ribbon that I'd found last time in my daughter's bedroom. So we might be able to incorporate that somewhere on this page, might not. You know, we'll just kind of see how, how the page comes along. So the first thing that I want to do, obviously we've decorated the back of this page in an earlier episode. <clears throat> so I'm just going to now distress ink around the chandelier and obviously this little kind of piece here. Just now trying to locate my distress ink pad that now seems to have gone wandering somewhere. This is not really going very well. I'm trying to kind of do these videos, um, you know, back to back sort of thing so that I can upload them reasonably quickly for you guys so you're not kind of waiting so long between the episodes. Um, but that means obviously I'm just filming you know a lot which I guess kind of uh, you know takes its toll on the quality of the video eventually because you're kind of becoming a little bit saturated and kind of um, a bit tired I suppose right so we've got that like that I mean I think that looks pretty kind of just as it is to be honest but obviously we won't leave it kind of just as it is so what we could do is kind of pop a little row of lace at the top or here probably quite liked it at the top so i'm going to distress ink now this lace before we stick it on there So I hope that you've all really enjoyed the series. I've um, really enjoyed doing it. I've found it very challenging and um, 
you know, yeah, quite difficult at times because it's taken me so far off of my comfort zone. Um, you know, and I've had to be a lot more kind of imaginative than perhaps if I were using kind of more regular craft items but I have equally really really enjoyed it so I hope that you guys have I really appreciate all the lovely comments and things um you know and that hopefully you guys appear to be enjoying it so that's really kind of much appreciated thank you um right let's glue this down here a little kind of um hole reinforcers And that's just kind of done. I hadn't glued them down in the first instance because I thought if we had anything on that side, we might have wanted them to go over the top of whatever was going to go there. But actually, we appear to have had everything on this side. Although now I'm just literally just looking and thinking we could have kind of this on that side. Just because obviously everything else we've put on the outside, it might be kind of nice to have something on this side of the page for a change. So perhaps we will do that. I'm just having a look. Oops. So obviously we're going to layer this up somehow. So let's just see what we're going to layer it onto. So we could just layer that like that. And then obviously have the lace kind of going across the top like that. I mean, I think that looks really pretty. And it's just, do we want that over there? No, nope. I think we still would want the page, the hole reinforcer. I don't know why I always want to call it the page protector. It's the hole reinforcement. Um, I think we'd still want it underneath the pocket. So we'll just pop that down like that. And then what we'll do, I'll just move that to one side. And we'll just ink this up a little bit. And might just use this piece up here because um, this is kind of a small piece of fabric up here that maybe won't be that useful anywhere else. So um, we'll just kind of distress it kind of around there. like that and then we'll just glue this on like this there we go so we'll just wait for that to dry for a few minutes. I'm just going to literally pop a couple of things and let's weigh it down. And while that's drying, we'll just stick the lace trim across the top of this little bit page pocket here. Just moving the spotlight slightly because it was actually kind of shining in my eyes. So just moved it slightly. We'll move that to one side. Actually, just before I do, I've got this little postage stamp from the wallpaper that we had used. So I will just ink that up just in case we want to kind of pop that anywhere. Then it's inked up and ready to go. So just kind of do that. And there's also this kind of, um, you know, postmark. So I'll just ink that up as well, just in case, again, you want to use that anywhere, then it's kind of just ready to use. Okay. Got a shop receipt here. So again, I don't know whether this will be feasible to use this or not, but just thought I would bring it along just in case. So I would just ink this up here. And 
and just ink it up on the back just in case we kind of use it more like a kind of tag or you know an insert not a tag but an insert anyway so I'll just pop that like that and then I might just go around the edge of this with just a bit of pink actually Pretty that receipt up a little bit. Like that. Okay. So bringing this piece obviously back in now, what we'll do is we will just punch those holes in. So I've actually got my crocodile with me today and I marked it with a permanent marker so that we could see where the holes were through there. So we just literally punch one. And then we'll just punch the other one. There we go. Obviously being fabric, it's still kind of attached with a thread there. So just cut that off. That one there. Okay, turn that over. And then we can bring our book page pocket back in. Now we're probably going to have this stuck over the hole as well, so we'd have to then obviously punch it another time um, to go through the the book page pocket, unless we had it further over. But to be honest, we might just as well take advantage of having that further reinforced if you see what I mean um, you know because that's really good so we're just going to kind of do that and um, I'm trying to decide yeah I think we'll kind of glue it as a kind of pocket rather than a tuck spot so just check that my glue stick is in properly because when you kind of first, blah, blah, first put the glue sticks in they sometimes you know continue to push down the other one but they don't necessarily move down themselves the, the new sticks so I just want to make sure that this one is because obviously we're going to be doing you know gluing right around the edge so like that and we just literally pop that on like that down I'm just going to press it down from the back because obviously the back's quite lumpy okay so now I'll just go through those holes again we haven't tended to do this because I haven't generally had my crocodile with me during this series so you know we kind of punched the holes the first time and then we've not overly kind of punched them again because obviously I haven't had the I haven't had the tool, but as I've got it now, so I'll kind of do it now. So there we go. So, I mean, that's really good because actually that has really strengthened those um, holes, which is you know, no bad thing. Then what we do, we just tear this fabric here. Right, it's back again. Again, I hadn't noticed my iPad had stopped recording. Um, so clearly kind of deleting that big app that I thought was so massive did not really kind of do a lot. Obviously I'm not aware how much space a video takes up but obviously more than I expected. So unfortunately you didn't see um, I had stuck this down which obviously we had back just now and then I just popped a little tab at the top just with some ribbon and then I just ruffled up that ribbon I just undid the knot and I've ruffled it on there just with some glue. So that's kind of it, I think, for that page. I think that page looks, you know, super cute as it is. Um, and I'm probably going to just leave it like that, I think. So now what, um, you know, what, what we can do is, if you recall, I showed that white charity shop bag that my son had got the other day when he bought his bits for his media studies. Um, so what I've done is I've just coffee dyed some and cut them down to kind of rough pages. They're not kind of, you know, definitely the same size because some of them had 
you know bits of seam on the bag and things like that that I had to get rid of but they're they're similar sizes so you know they're kind of they're okay um so what I thought we could do is obviously kind of punch some holes in which actually I've just noticed we need to punch some anyway in this page so if I just clear my my holies in my crocodile and then I just need to take that to the light to be able to see just going to punch a couple of holes here for this one Oops, again that's got kind of fabric still holding it so let me just trim that off like that so what we'll do is kind of roughly pop these like that as I say they're not perfectly the same sizes because obviously some did have bits that I needed to kind of cut off so we'll just go for it kind of as they are really so we'll just pop it like that against a page that we have got for our book like that with the um what do you call it the bulldog clips that's the word and then i'm just going to punch in the holes through those pages so just take out the punchies and then again kind of pop the hole like that so that's our holes then for kind of the the spare pages so I'll just take the bulldog clips off and then I'm just going to obviously pop this original page to the side so then what I quite like to do is just literally kind of you know keep these plain as possible for journaling but just have a little bit on them a little bit of something so that they're not completely plain so I'm just going to literally, I'll take the pink stamp. So let's hope it's kind of working. For the continuity, we'll use this one again. And I'm just going to literally, whoops, stamp kind of little bits. It's, it's barely working at all, hold on. Stamp a couple of bits on the pages, just so they've got something on them and they're not completely plain blank pages which would obviously just be quite boring to look at so that's kind of all I'm doing here just to kind of you know make things look a bit prettier really so we're just going to stamp the corners like that you know we could even stamp one kind of in the middle here just for something different corner here you know there's no kind of right or wrong we're just literally kind of adding a little bit of decorative interest really just so it's not a completely blank page which you know I think would be kind of quite boring so you know we don't have to do every single one but just kind of you know some and some really so oops like that and maybe even we'll just do one there in the middle of that one actually perhaps we'll do it kind of running down like that so that's those and then just bringing them back I just think then what might be quite nice is again for a bit of continuity is just pop some bits of fabric on so Again, I'm just going to kind of distress ink very lightly. Oops, let's find my inker here. And then what we can do is literally, I might as well use some of this because we've not used a great deal of this. So I have a lot of this fabric here, which is quite nice. So again, what you could do is obviously, you know, you could do some staples of ruffles, you could do some kind of more plain, um, you know, completely entirely up to you, kind of how you want it to be. 
So, okay. so I'll just pop that kind of out of the way. So if we, for instance, take this first page here, we could just pop on a bit of kind of ruffle and just literally staple that to the side. just so it's kind of now no longer just a completely blank page which obviously might be quite boring then on this one for instance what we could do is just have I'll cut it this way because then it would tear better there we go I mean we could just kind of run it there which is then covering the holes completely so you know it's kind of protecting the holes but also a kind of decorative element then Oops, which is kind of nice so I'm just going to apply the glue here onto the page because it's obviously a little bit easier to do Oops, somebody's just coming into the room hold on okay change their mind obviously right so we can have it like that and then obviously we will just repunch those holes um, so I'm going to pop that there so as we remember we've got to kind of repunch it. Then this piece here, we can just tear this. We could just kind of tear a little strip like that. And we can just kind of have it just here, you know, kind of as a random little piece stuck down in the corner. I mean, it's literally so that the journal then has just pretty elements kind of going on, even on the plainest of pages, if you see what I mean. But I mean, predominantly, we want to just keep these pages plain for journaling. Just going to trim this because it, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. That looked horrendously not straight. So, there we go. So, you know, we're just kind of literally kind of just popping some bits on you know, just for a little bit of, oops, a little bit of decoration. So again, I'll just tear this like that. I'll just cut this piece off. And then what we can do is obviously, again, we could just staple this on here as a kind of ruffle piece. So, I mean, again, we can just obviously staple on just a little kind of ruffle along here you know again doesn't have to be perfect we're just kind of getting something on there so it looks kind of pretty and then this one we would just kind of glue a piece here Here on this final one again we can just kind of glue a piece kind of just running down just anywhere really even there looks quite pretty kind of just in a random kind of spot so that's kind of that so those pages don't look completely plain so the next thing probably is we will just kind of make a few little inserts um, tags and what have you, um, you know, to kind of pop in here. And then I think it's kind of done. So, you know, I'm going to kind of take a break here and then come back and we'll do some, some tags and things. So thanks very much for watching. Um, but hopefully I'm going to join these, these videos together. So see you in a mo. Thank you.
Right guys, um, so obviously since the last kind of uh, little chunk, which hopefully I'm joining these together, um, I have just literally cut out another couple of the kind of um, filler pages, just from, again, more paper bag. You know, it's just from some more brown paper bag. Um, so literally I've cut them roughly to size. Obviously they're not perfect because they had kind of logos on the bag. So I had to try and kind of avoid the logo. Um, hence, you know, they might be slightly different sizes. But I'm just going to literally punch the holes. So, again, struggling to kind of now see with the lamp there. Hold on. There we go. We've got one. And then the other hole. Just punch that. There we go. So, I mean, they're just to give us literally a couple more... Um, you know a couple of extra pages really so that's those and then all we'll do is literally exactly the same as we did with the other filler pages in that we can just literally stamp around on the edges um you know or well it doesn't have to be on the edges it, it could obviously be anywhere we like um but just stamp around to kind of give a little bit of kind of um interest to the pages so I've got this little Harlequin stamp. I have a feeling I used this um, on the video that kind of cut off, you know, kind of halfway through. I have a feeling that, uh, not halfway through, sorry, the one that I filmed for an hour that didn't record at all. So I have a feeling that was when I used that stamp. Sorry, I'm just rummaging through my stash here to try and find the ink pad. Um, let me just let me just try and find the ink pad so we've got the stays on obviously and we've got the distress ink now because um this stamp is very um i don't know what the word is but you know it's very ink hungry i might have to go with this distress ink because i'm not sure how brilliantly the stays on is going to work so I'm just going to try it out on a little bit of magazine page or, you know, the catalogue page, like that. Because I just think we're going to get a better imprint using the Distress Ink Pad. So, there we go. We just literally stamp up here. really pretty and then I think what we do is um, stamp the reverse side on this one so maybe down here kind of near where the holes are punched Woo! there we go so that looks nice doesn't it so um, we've got that so then what we could do is obviously just incorporate just a little bit of fabric again we could just have this running down the entire length there in fact I might just glue around here onto the page just for speed my glue doesn't seem to want to be coming out very well today been very good and I have been keeping the lid on it but doesn't seem to be being very cooperative today for some reason there we go. and just glue it there Okay, and then obviously here, you just use some more fabric. Oops, again, I've just got this one that I just, oh, I thought it was going to tear away from the seam, but it doesn't seem to want to, so we just cut that down. along here that looks quite pretty 
so we'll just apply the glue onto the fabric because we've obviously got this weird shape going on we'll just put a bit around the where the hole is on the page I mean, I just think that looks really nice now and it just kind of adds a little bit of interest. And then what we could do, just cut this fabric down a bit, just kind of the other piece really. You know, just as we're using it up really, we can obviously staple this onto this side. Okay, so that looks good to me. Um, the only thing that we haven't got is a little bit of stamping going on here, which, you know, we could put something or we could just glue, glue this little piece on here. That might be quite nice. So it was just floating around beside me. So uh, it's just kind of crying out to be used there. I've got my brown pad so again we will just test this on the uh, catalogue page because my um, brown is beginning to dry up slightly so there we go. Just pop a bit on there and we could have a bit up here in the corner kind of where that um, Harlequin stamp is just to kind of finish that off and maybe on this side up here that looks nice and then um, what we'll do is we'll just ink around these slightly in the pink just to add a little bit of colour to the buff you know, the buff paper. I mean, this, this just, you know, these are just kind of finishing touches that just help to tie it into the rest of the journal, I think. Um, oh, look, I picked that up. That's a bit annoying, isn't it? So, we'll see, it hadn't dried because this is glossy magazine paper. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, these are just finishing touches. They, you know, they're not kind of essential things to do, you know. I just kind of think it helps to um, tie it all in and bring it all together to kind of make it a more, I suppose, cohesive kind of project, um, if that makes sense to kind of people watching. Now, right, just try and then... Um, Tone that pink down that's on there now. There we go. Right. Okay. So that's our pages there. Obviously, I now need to punch holes again where those pieces of fabric are. So I'll have to remember to kind of do that. But they're just kind of another couple of filler pages. So I pop them out of the way. And now what we could do is make, um, you know, a few little kind of tags and pullouts and things to go inside the journal. So here I've just got this little card, again, just floating about in a drawer, been there for donkey's years. So we just ink this card up, Oops, again, I should have really distressed this, but unfortunately, uh, coffee dyed this, but I didn't, unfortunately. So we'll just distress it and kind of go with that, really. Just do it at the front, like that. And then what we could do is try and add some pages from the carrier bag. So let me just bring in the bag. 
So if I just cut a section off here, sorry, my arm is constantly seeming to be in the way in this episode for some reason. Right, just going to literally cut the bag slightly and then we'll just see where we'll get the most pages, probably along here. So just going to cut along here, it's kind of a natural seam from where the bottom of the bag was kind of folded over anyway. So just cut those bits down and just kind of make it roughly, roughly to size. Now obviously it doesn't have to be perfect and you know obviously the pages don't all have to be the same size or anything like that. You know it kind of all adds to the charm if it's a little bit more rustic and unique so um, you know all we're doing really is just popping some extra uh, bits for journaling in. So just pop that like that and then we'll just literally and we'll staple these in. I think I've got my big stapler which unfortunately doesn't reach so I should have to just bend that over. Again I mean obviously if I had my sewing machine I could have sewed that but as I haven't we'll have to just go with the stapler. So there we go. Let me just bend that round. <clears throat> and then, I mean, I think that front's really quite nice as it is. Um, obviously, if we wanted to kind of tie it in slightly more to, you know, the other items in the journal, what we, what we could do is just, you know, add a little piece of fabric to it. So, you know, I don't necessarily think it needed this because I think it looks really quite pretty as it is, but... I'm just kind of thinking from a point of view of tying it in to the rest of the pages, if you see what I mean. So we could just kind of have that like that. So I'll probably just hot glue that. I don't know quite how that will take. We'll just try it. There we go. So that's a little kind of booklet that we've got there. So we'll just pop that to one side and we'll do some other little bits. Now, I also had this one, which was um, one of the little selection cards, you know, from some chocolates. Again, I mean, I've obviously had this for donkey's years. Um, I'd kept it because it had this gorgeous kind of, it wasn't twine, it was kind of like more ropey kind of stuff, tying it on to the box of chocolates, which I thought was really rather nice. So um, I just thought that was kind of quite a nice one to incorporate into our journal because I'd been obviously hoarding it for forever. So um, I just thought that would be quite nice to kind of have in the journal somewhere. So what we can do is obviously, you know, again, just literally decorate it up somehow. <clears throat> so what I might do here is just literally staple on some of this ribbon down the side. I'm out of staples again, so uh, must have used lots of staples in this journal. There we go. Oh, I guess we have used a lot of staples, haven't we? Because, um, you know, we've not sewn anything in, we have stapled everything, so that's not surprising. Leave 
ribbon at the bottom and again I left it hanging because I think it looks really nice kind of like that so that's that one and then again what we can do is obviously add some pages into there so it's kind of a bit more useful so again I'm just bringing that carrier bag back we will cut off just along here This is a teeny booklet, so um, the pages are going to be kind of tiny. So, I'll just kind of cut those like that. Okay, so I just need to these up along the edges. now yeah so again we'll just staple those in there gosh would you believe even that teeny little one the stapler won't reach past which is kind of surprising isn't it so that's another little pull out booklet just there um I will just see if I've got any little stamped items that we could pop on the front of this. I've got these little tickets here, so we could pop a little ticket on. I'm getting quite excited now to be able to do the um, final flip through of this journal because um, <laughs> It's, it's suddenly coming together and obviously I then looked at it all um, after the last video to kind of see how much was left to do and it looks so pretty so I'm really looking forward to you know completing it completely and then doing the final flip through because I think you'll all really like it so well I, I hope you'll all really like it I've had lovely comments and um seems like you've all really enjoyed kind of the series you know whether or not people have been working on their own or not you know it seems like you have had fun watching so um yeah I'm quite looking forward to kind of showing you because I think you'll uh, I actually quite like it just with the original logo weirdly enough so I'm going to leave it like that so I'm just going to pop that to one side that's another one done this one here, obviously I do want to use this now, but I think we'll try and pop it on another page because, um, or not page, but another piece, because actually I rather liked the just Christmas logo. It looked really pretty against that pink ribbon. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to showing you all because um, it really looks really pretty now. Right, we've got this little receipt here that we kind of inked up the other day. So we could again, you know, incorporate this and kind of make a little, little teeny booklet from here. So let me just get some more of those little notes. Yeah, sometimes when you're working on something, you know, it's only kind of once you're near the end that you actually kind of then have a look through and see what you've kind of achieved or what you've done. But then you think, oh, looks lovely. You know, because up until then, I hadn't really kind of looked through everything together. I'd only looked through pieces individually, you know, or kind of looked as we'd done each piece, kind of then had a bit of a glimpse. So now i can kind of see it coming together it actually looks really lovely so well hopefully you will uh, think it does too right we've got this one i'm just going to put that out of the 
the way. Let's have a look to see whether we've got any more of those little tiny note cards. I can't see any. We have got them, obviously, but they're obviously buried somewhere and I don't want to kind of dilly-dally all day. So um just going to go for it like this. I'm just going to literally tear these pages so that they look a bit different. another little bit there and then what we could do is obviously on the front of this one we could have it as a little bit that open in that way I suppose again I mean I'm just going to hot glue this just for you know, so that it's definitely dried on there. Okay, so that's another one. Gonna have lots of little pull-out booklets in here, I think. So, uh, you know, that's really nice. We've got this gorgeous um, shop tag here that we haven't used yet. And we've got these little postmarks, so I'll just kind of cut around those. And then what we'll do is we'll kind of form a tag, I think using the paper bag. So I'm just going to fold this in and then I'm going to cut it down to a sort of size that we can use. Just trim it there. And then what we'll do, we just Wear it off a bit. So let's just glue it together. Now, unfortunately, I still haven't got my little card that I like to use to spread the glue. So, um, again, that's a shame. We're just going to have to kind of improvise a little bit. So, I'll just Try and spread the glue like this. Just checking I'm recording and in frame. Okay. So we we'll cut this now to a kind of more conventional kind of tag or journaling card kind of shape. It's a little bit missing, but that's okay. Otherwise, we're going to start getting a bit skinny, um, you know, which wouldn't be so good. So what we could do now is obviously we can ink around this as we have with the journal, journal itself. Ink and stamp, sorry, stamp and ink. So I'm just having a quick look into my stamp. Right, so we'll go with that big swirly one again. This kind of, you know, this just brings the um, the theme of the journal all together, if you see what I mean. So it's quite nice using kind of the same things for a bit of continuity there. So that's nice. 
And then what we'll do is obviously ink up the piece of wallpaper here. More of that little bit of tissue if we could use. That's quite cute. So we could ink that up. Oops, well, maybe not. Torn it now. Let's see whether I can manage to do the rest without tearing it. And this tissue is a little bit like where we used oilies, isn't it, in um, the junk journals, you know. Just going to glue it there. Oops, it actually had four layers, would you believe? have a little flower on there because that then ties in obviously the flowers that we've used kind of throughout the rest of it like that oh, that flower looks a bit the worse for wear doesn't it oh well never mind cut that stem off a little bit uh, just to look to the side of me this as the um, kind of tab for this tag so just distressing that a little bit and just before we stick that on we just go around a bit with the pink on as a little tab there now again obviously I would probably sew this um, ordinarily we obviously don't have um, the sewing machine oh I've now got pink ink on me um, so what I'll do is probably put a couple of staples in because this is quite a huge tab so there we go that looks cute, doesn't it? And what we can do is actually we could round the corners of this as well. I don't know how well they'll round because I'm not sure how straight I've got this. But well, they're okay. They're okay. So there we go, another tag. So I don't know now how long we're up to on this video because I've obviously lost track of it where we've done it in kind of a couple of halves. Um <clears throat> But this is probably kind of it for today. And then hopefully next time we will assemble the journal, um, make the remaining tags and do whatever we're going to do to the back of the journal. And then hopefully it will be complete. So I hope that you've enjoyed um, this episode. And thanks very much for watching. Thanks very much. Bye.